hi there. It's Eric. I'm back with another backpacking video. And you might notice from behind me that it's a little bit different from the previous ones. This one is my first one in the desert. And I've got a special guest with me. <laughs> special guest. Papa Meyer makes yeah. a return. Old Man Meyer. Old Man Meyer. Uh, it's been since Tahoe, which was like three months ago, that we've backpacked oh, together. Yeah. And we're here in Canyonlands National Park. Check it out. Uh, we're just starting our hike. It's about noon. Getting a little bit of a late start. And the sun sets at about 5 p.m. out here since it's November. So in accordance with that, we've only scheduled about four, four and a half miles uh, with very little elevation gain for the first day. And it's a lot of rock climbing. And yeah, just Dad's already upset because we have to scramble over a little bit of rock to get to oh, here. Oh yeah, by the way, we gotta climb a lot of rocks so. <laughs> and ladders. Oh yeah, no, yeah, yeah, but don't worry about yeah, it. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, so we've scheduled only four miles because we've got all of our water for the entire trip here. Um, so our packs are extremely heavy. Pretty cool cacti already. Just amazing country out here. Everything about the trail is cool too. Gotta go up these. <laughs> Dad's already complaining. It isn't much. This is nothing like what I expected. <laughs> I told Dad it's gonna be like walking through the city. We're getting it done. It's easy terrain until you have like a 30-40 pound pack on with all your water. Then it becomes kind of tough. Dad says this looks like it's the start to that Indiana Jones ride at Disneyland. This rock's going to come after us pretty soon. across quite the canyon here. A couple other people. Wow. It's one of those trails you say wow a lot at. Just come up this canyon. Quite an adventurous canyon at that. We made up the canyon. On we go. We are beginning our descent into ah. Elephant Canyon. Dad thinks he's gonna get stuck. Okay. 
Just barely fits. This must be Elephant Canyon. At the bottom of Elephant Canyon now. Only about half a mile to our campsite. So we made it out of the canyon to our campground, our campsite rather. This is EC2, and what a spot it is. Wow. Let's set up camp. About to check out the area here as it is beautiful. Dad is setting up his tent, which is uh, on its maiden voyage, first time out in the backcountry. I've scrambled up this little, I don't know what to call it, dome, I guess. Maybe that's the Yosemite in me. And a uh, little arch here. I am looking to get on top of one of these, maybe. Well, it's gorgeous up here, but there's no such route to get any higher. Wow, though. And I can't not take you through the arch. The trick also is to only step on rock, right? Because, well, I'll show you the crust later and explain more, but um, it's unethical to step on anything other than just bare rock out here. Check it out. Through the looking glass. Pretty nice campground. The sun is setting. It's almost 5 p.m. We're getting some grub. I've got a rice side and Dad has some spaghetti with meat sauce. How was the trail today? Uh, good. Once I got used to it. Dad was I was thinking there was going to be a nice trail, hardly any elevation. It wasn't that, that much elevation, but a lot of climbing up and climbing down. Scaling things up and scaling down. And, but it was okay. As soon as we got to camp, pretty much, uh, we lost uh, the sunlight. And it very quickly got cold. And it's getting colder. Uh, it was pretty warm during the day. But 24 tonight or something like that? It's supposed to be 28 tonight here. Uh, during the day it was like in the 50s though, it was, yeah, it was, warm. It was pretty warm and nice. Uh, tonight and tomorrow morning it is going to be frigid. We are, I think, well prepared though. The sun is set and it's getting quite cold. So I think I'm going to ret retreat to my tent. And uh, well, since it's only like 5.10, we're going to have a lot of reading to do before we can sleep. But good night. See you in the very cold morning.
Oh, good morning from our beautiful camp. It's about 7.15. It was a very long night. Uh, Dad says that we look like the Michelin Man with all this puffy stuff on. But it kept us warm. It's cold. It works. It is very cold. Uh, we slept with uh, at least one b water bottle each because we expected it to get to below freezing, but um, didn't have anything freeze over. We expect because maybe... It's probably in the 20s. It's probably in the 20s, but it was probably warmer in our tent than outside, so it didn't freeze. Um, 14 hours of dark and cold, we're ready for some warm food. It's 9 a.m. and we are about to hoist our packs and go to the junction uh, for the trail that goes to Druid Arch where we'll drop our packs and then day hike to the arch itself. Off we go up the beautiful Elephant Canyon. Walking along this creek bed, not sure how many days of the year it's actually wet, but pretty cool, I guess, bedrock. It's almost like limestone. It's hard to say. Alright, quite the junction here. To our right, a bunch of spires up that canyon. And uh, to our left, where we're going to go, these huge sandstone walls. Don't know how tall they are, but at least, I don't know, 500 feet maybe? Four or 500 feet? The obstacle course begins. My knee. Oh, All right, here comes the obstacle course part of it. Watch and learn, old man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> looks like. Made it. Now I gotta come back down and get my camera. Yeah, come back down. Let's come back this way anyway, so you can practice. <laughs> the cane is starting to get a little bit more narrow. How nice of nature to put that ladder there. 
right now. It's eroded just perfectly. Perfectly eroded piece of metal. Almost at the arch, I think. Amazing spires. Hard to tell how tall they are. Hearing a lot of wows from dad. I got almost four miles. It's a big arch. What's your view of the trail and the arch? Wow. <laughs> it's one wow after another. And look at all around too. I mean look to the right. It's a crazy, crazy, crazy place. That's back the way we came over there. This spire behind us, I think, is just as magnificent. I think we're going to start heading back to our backpacks and say goodbye to Druid Arch. What a canyon that this is. We're on the descent from Druid Arch. People were making this part out to be like the most difficult scramble they've ever done and it is steep but it's not uh, it's not too too bad. It's really kind of just a steep loose trail. Look at that one little tiny tree next to a sitting rock. It's cute. If you could get to it. It's a little bit remote. Woo! Going down that slick rock. see back up the canyon towards Druid Arch. There it is. Though it doesn't quite look the same from this angle. Look at these layers of rock. Laid down over millions of years at the bottom of some inland ocean. Now here's the reason why I wasn't stepping off of uh, direct rock up behind the campsite yesterday because of this biological soil crust. Uh, believe it or not, this is alive, although I think dormant because it's so dry. And uh, it takes like hundreds of years to form like that. So you really shouldn't step on it under any circumstances because your footprint will be there for, I guess, through your great-grandchildren's lives. Well, we've made it back to our packs. It was a good hike. 6.19 miles. 6 miles. So Dad and I just came up with that, which uh, <laughs> we had to raise our packs for because 
it's not safe to go up with our packs. We're headed to Chesler Park, which is where our second campground is. And from there, we'll figure it out. I might go on a day hike. Wow. Yeah, at this rate, it will take a while. After an extremely rugged section, we've come to a couple of tunnels that I think we have to go through. Very cool. Unfortunately, we don't go through the tunnel, but it's still very cool. Look, look at the light down there. Made it up and out of that canyon to panoramic views. That was a tough trail, if you can call it a trail. After a very intense mile of hiking, we're up on this shelf, and I think our campsite is on the other side of those spires there. Quite the prairie that we've come across now. I suppose this is Chester Park. Almost to the campground, I think. So we've made it to CP4, Chester Park 4, our campground. It's uh, It's got some nice rock formations behind it, but what we were not expecting was the amazing vista out this way. I don't think the camera can do it justice, but look at this. Okay, so we are departing our campsite. I just wonder, hot. it's kind of hot, yeah. Um, it'll cool kind of down. Cold. It'll cool down momentarily. Uh, we are going to go to uh, Chester Park Viewpoint and then maybe on from there. Uh, so we're going this way. It's amazing out here. Man. Amazing prairie. Unreal. All around this little, little plateau. Pretty amazing. Well, we've made it up to this uh, the, viewpoint. the viewpoint, which is on the map. We were expecting it to be a view of, I guess, the distance, but Instead, it's a view of Chesler Park. Basically our campsite over there. Yeah, our campsite is over that way. Right in there. See that slot trail? That's what Maisie's talking about. Yeah, these are big tracks. Going down into Hades. This way. Oh, there it is. Come down the steps into the slot. The old man has to go down his big step into the slot. Woo! I think I can make it. Quite the slot. It keeps going. Just keeps going. Keeps going. Woo! This is a really cool slot. I mean, for us Californians, I don't know, maybe this is normal out here, but... Wow. It just keeps going. I think we're about to be spit out into the, the overworld again. Just when you think it's over, it keeps going, although it's opening up a bit. So we thought it would continue that way, but no, it turns right here. It goes through this cave-like area. It goes through this cave. 
And look, there's actually a slot at the top. Okay, we're turning back because we have limited daylight. We need to set up camp. Back through the slot we go. Well, we're out of the slot. How was it? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> it was the best wow yet. Yeah, I, Dad says he likes it better than Drude Arch. Oh, for sure. That was very cool. Uh, Maybe just because we are used to big walls. Uh, back home but not used to slots. All right, back to camp before it gets dark. Oh, that's the viewpoint this way. Look at that view into the maze district. Whew. Headed back to camp. What a day it's been. I feel like I say that pretty much every trip I go on, but what a day. Another amazing camp spot. Among the spires. my shot. Oh, sorry. Are you filming? Yeah. You can delete that part. Is that for you? It's for you. That's right. I need my adjuster. While we're waiting for food to rehydrate at camp, at our kitchen rock, we get a lot more uh, sun at this spot than at the previous one. Dad, how was the day? Oh my God, what a fantastic day this was. Uh, just crazy, crazy, crazy. That slot was very cool and drew it, drew it arch, right? Yep. Yeah, just amazing. Some tricky trails, especially getting up to this campsite. Yeah, that was really we had tough. To take the packs off and yeah, I did. I didn't film a lot during that, but that was that was legit. Even Eric had to take his pack off. Right, I had to take my pack off for that. That was some serious scrambling. Yeah, what a fantastic day, Whew, man! Of discovery. A day of discovery, indeed. Didn't really know what to expect at all. Guess there's only so much you can capture in a few photos in the trip report. Almost missed that slot. Almost didn't go That's to the slot. Crazy. Well, the sun is setting. Today was a, an 11 out of 10 day in more ways than one. Look at that spire, it's moving. <laughs> Uh, 11 out of 10 in terms of experiences and views, but also in terms of the trail. It was honestly pretty intense. Yeah. Um, but we made it, even though Dad is nursing a bum knee. Not that you'd be able to tell from the videos. Um, tomorrow we're going to kind of play things by ear. I'm not sure what route we're going to use to go back, but uh, it was. Uh, it's really hard to rank today among the uh, great days of backpacking that I've had, but it's it's up there for sure. So with that, say good night. Must have been kind of a slow morning for us. What time is it? 9.38 9.38 and we still have our tents up This is very unusual for both of us Usually we, well, We've been discussing the world Right, we've been discussing 
issues in the world. Issues in the world, I guess. Uh, but we've also been enjoying the morning, and uh, it's not been nearly as cold as yesterday was. Amazing country in the distance. All right, we're off. Day three. Day three, we're just gonna go home. This was another great campsite. Six miles back to the car. Right, we have about six miles, <clears throat> then we're done. After this section, we're gonna descend into Elephant Canyon and then basically just backtrack the way we came the first day. to a bit of a viewpoint. Down in there is where we camped the first night, I believe. It's Elephant Canyon down there. Chesler Park is phenomenal. What are these tracks, Dad? This is a this is a rabbit. This some very small looks like almost like a cat. Looks like a bunch of yeah, back and forth. Oh, there's some more isolated tracks there. I think some of this is rabbit or whatever. Maybe just... Are, this is rabbit. Maybe just really, really small backpackers. Yeah. That's the freeway. Just keeps going. What a park. I would love to go back in there someday. Now we start our descent. So far not so bad. It's kind of a staircase going down. Not nearly as extreme as uh, the way we came to go up. back at the bottom of Elephant Canyon. It was really not so bad coming down. It's a good trail. Yeah. I mean, a lot of elevation change, but <clears throat> it's built well with steps and things. Yeah. If you have a bum knee, go that way. Mm -hmm. Not the way we went up. So we're headed back up to the rim of Elephant Canyon. From here on, we're basically backtracking what we did on the first day. So I probably won't be doing all that much filming. These, uh, these purple cacti. Oh wow, that's cool. Looks like prunes. Eggplant. There's, there's Dad. Dad's grumpy because I'm making him pose. <laughs> Crest of the ridge. Ooh, man, crazy.
the parking lot is in view. We just hit six miles right here from CP4. We made it back to Yosemite Sam, which is the name back of at the car. The car. Oh, that was just the right distance for both of us, I think. Uh, yeah. How was it? Last impression. Well, that was good. Yeah. Uh, a little bit tired, but it was good. <laughs> Thank you for carrying my water. Well, I'm sweaty and gross, but it's really hard to beat Canyonlands. Excellent trip, and I think Dad would agree. Agreed. <laughs> Dad says agreed. Until next time, which will be in just a couple days.